NASA knows a secret about you. The U.S. government has a secret about you. The elite have a secret about you. There's a reason that black cells are literally in out of space. Your royal DNA cellular bloodline is filled with the God particle, but it lies dormant within you. Beloved, my name is Vicky Dillard. I received supernatural insight concerning your messenger DNA code from a supernatural messenger. If you're not supernatural, this isn't for you, but if it's for you, you don't want to miss my ancestral messenger DNA code activation part two on the most magical day of the year. Don't miss it. The link is below. Signs and wonders follow. Don't miss it. 12, 12, 21 is your day to ascend into your guard particle. Hello fam, welcome back to the African Diaspora News Channel. I am Ungil Zalalem bringing you this report. Today's report comes from Sudan. General Abdul Fattah is asking UN troops to come into his country. He's actually asking UN to intervene because his people have been protesting, because they are tired of this transitional military government, um, the coup that keeps happening. They want a civilian government and they no longer want what is being done to them. Like it's the people that are suffering and they're just tired of all this nonsense and they want it to stop. So um, I reported last time that thousands of Sudanese went out on the street to protest and say no to that. So now the general solution is to bring in UN troops to involve UN. We all know how that works. So why would you ask UN troops to come into your country when it's your own people protesting peacefully? Like why in the world would you want to do that? That is a big question mark. The fact that that general did that makes us question who he is standing for, who he is working for. That is the bigger question. Starting from the heart of Sudan's capital Khartoum, protesters gather once again They've come to demonstrate against last month's military takeover, which saw the two-year transitional power-sharing government dissolved. They chanted various slogans, but the demand was the same. They don't want the military to remain in Sudan's politics. We here and Sudanese everywhere have come out for the same reason today. We want freedom, peace and justice. We want a complete civilian government without the military. The military should stay in their barracks and focus on the country's security at the borders and not get in governance. No military will rule this country. This country is the country of the people. The government is for the people and the military should be in the barracks. Tuesday's protests were held near the presidential palace. Protesters are also angry at Sudan's Prime Minister Abdullah Hamdok for signing a deal with the army on November 21st. The deal saw him released from house arrest and reinstated to his position. It's also included the release of all political prisoners arrested by the military. And on the day of the protests, the last of those known to be arrested were set free. Some who were released earlier joined Tuesday's protest. As you saw, Sudanese are determined and they're not going to give up. And we are standing with them and we are going to support them. They have every right to want a civilian government. They don't have to face this. They don't have to, you know, have a government that they didn't choose, have a government that involves you and troops and want to uh, be the one in charge and not allow a civilian government to run. They want to be the one to choose that. No, election should happen as soon as possible. And that should be the end of it. If you remember, it's two years ago that this transitional military party uh, government took power and then they, they put their own civilian prime minister. But look at what happened. There was a coup just a few months ago. So I understand why the Sudanese are tired of this and they deserve better. Anyways, guys, let us know down below what your thoughts are about what is happening in Sudan. I am Ungil Zalalem. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and download the African Diaspora News Channel app, now available on Google Play and the Apple App Store. Colonization never ended in the white supremacist system. And as we see today, the colonization is in the mind. Now, those who have been enslaved and those who have been colonized, we're still dealing with the remnants of that through the colonization of the mind. Pick up my book, Seven Steps to Decolonize the Mind, and we will help deprogram you from the colonization that was put upon you by generations and generations of white supremacy. You can pick it up today on Amazon.com.